Hi, I'm Bernaz and welcome to Low Carb Keto Recipes and having fun. Today I have a recipe for you for a garlic, cheesy garlic bread, uh, which you can have as an accompaniment to your soups and salads and uh, they're absolutely yummalicious and they have no eggs in the recipe. So I've uh, uh, cut out one or two slices to show you. So here is what it looks like. And I've toasted it amazingly in the air fryer today. So um, uh, we're standing in my kitchen. So let's get cooking. So let's begin with this recipe. We take a mixing bowl and I'm adding one and a half cups of almond flour to it. Next, we are going to put in half a cup of whey protein isolate. Next, we have two teaspoons of baking powder. In that goes. And one teaspoon of baking soda. And of course, xanthan gum to bring it all together, which is two teaspoons of xanthan gum. Now I'm adding some salt. Add about two teaspoons one to two teaspoons of salt now i'm adding one teaspoon of a sweetener this is just to give that sweetness that one is used to in uh, bread okay in goes the olive oil and that is three tablespoons of it in that goes and apple cider vinegar two tablespoons of it in that goes and now one cup of hot water please do see that it's uh, pretty hot i would say warm is not enough but pretty hot now i'm adding some chopped garlic to this i'm putting two teaspoons of it feel free to add many other things that you like to this recipe all the kinds of herbs and spices you can add parsley paprika thyme whatever you like now i've taken um, a long dish because this is not going to rise that high but it's going to have a beautiful rise and i've put in the mixture into it and see that it goes into it you don't have to press it down but just see that it's nice and smooth by using some water on your spatula it works perfectly and uh, now uh, this is uh, i'm just spreading over some mozzarella shredded mozzarella cheese to give you that lovely cheesy effect and i'm going to add um, a few herbs on top and spices that's some paprika i'm adding i'm adding some thyme on top and uh, yeah it's pretty much ready for the oven and it should go in for about um 35 minutes or so here it is out of the oven absolutely yummy let me cut up on a slice and show it to you it's up look at that fluffy light spongy and you can toast this also later it is absolutely an amazing recipe do try it lots of love bye then